Okay, go. Hello Gail, this is where we are uh, planning on putting the headstone. Records show that James Easton is beside uh, Indiana Taylor. We followed the records all the way from about nine tombstones down to here. Then it says that he's buried here. There's a small child buried here and two females. And we took dousing rods. We do show a male figure here a small child and two females and we believe this first female buried somewhere in this vicinity here is relation to James Easton. We did some probing today. Um, we probed all around the area. We did not find, we thought we might have found the broken headstone but we ended up finding nothing but a pot, small rocks. So what we are going to do is we're going to take the headstone, we're going to expand what we have left and what we're going to do is we're going to actually manufacture half of the headstone that's there. Then when we actually fix that, we're going to bring it back and this is the area that we're going to plant it. So just thought I'd give you a little bit of a visual what's up with what's going on. Uh, this is Taylor Cemetery. It's about two miles south of Atwood, uh, directly behind the river over, directly behind these trees is the river. This is about the highest ground in this area. Uh, there's probably another 50 more graves in this area. Uh, back over on this other hillside, I know there's quite a few that are missing headstones. Uh, they do believe that there is a person from the Revolutionary War buried in here, but they never could find any records. Uh, I believe there's about four Eastons buried in here, quite a few Taylors mentioned for Taylor Cemetery. So. This is probably, we got to, Angie and I got to talking today. This is probably the biggest cemetery here with the exception of what would have been Mackville Cemetery, which is another two and a half, three miles. And if you go directly south, you have nothing. And the only other cemetery close by proximity to the uh, east is probably another four miles. So our thinking is that uh, this was probably the, not so much a family cemetery, but was just like a rural cemetery you know, cemetery for everybody that lived in the area. So I thought I'd just give you a view of what's going on and let you know. So we'll keep you updated. <laughs> 